Hello everyone. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a line when you only have two points. Okay? So I'm going to start by just creating the coordinate plane and the points. So let's say we have a point at the origin here. And then let's make up another point. Okay, three, four. And then we're going to label this zero, zero, of course. Okay, we have two points here, and we're going to go ahead and just draw the line. We try again. Much better. All right, so we have our line here. Now we want to go ahead, given these two points, we want to go ahead and create the slope. So first thing, is we want to find slope. Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Okay? So, just starting off, let's go ahead. It doesn't matter which one is x1, y1, or x2, y2. That's not important, as long as you stay consistent. So, I'm going to write the points here. And 3, comma 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and label them x1, y1, x2, y2, okay? And now I just plug in the points. So y2 is going to be 4 minus 0 over 3 minus 0. 4 over 3 is our slope. And I should have put that slope is m. I apologize. So that's our slope. Okay, that's not, we're not done yet. We want to find the equation of the entire line. So now we have another, um, another equation, which is point slope form. Point slope form. And that formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay? Now, in order to use this formula, what you need are two things. You need a point and you need a slope. So, we know what a slope, we have a slope already. Slope equals 4 over 3. That's what we got here. And now we need a point. So you have two points here. You have 0, 0 and you have 3 comma 4. You could pick any of the two points in order to plug into your um, your equation, your formula. I personally would pick 0, 0 because it's really easy. But you can pick 3, 4 if you want to challenge. 0, comma, 0. <clears throat> okay? So now we're going to plug in the information. Rem remember that it says y minus y1. So this is a point right here. This is your slope. And these are just variables. 
y minus y1, well y1 in this case is 0, equals the slope is 4 thirds times x minus x1 in this case is 0. And now we solve. <clears throat> Let's distribute the 4 thirds. 4 thirds times x is 4 thirds x. And 4 thirds times 0 is 0. So I'm not even going to write it up. And y minus 0 on this side here. y minus 0. Usually if we had a number there, we would just add it to both sides. But we don't have anything. So there's nothing there to do. y equals 4 thirds x. And if you really want to, I guess you can put plus 0. You don't have to, but I guess we'll leave it. Okay? And there we go. This now is the equation of the line. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to write more. The equation of the line passing through the points zero comma zero and what was the other one three comma four Okay, this is a nice little write-up. This is the equation of the line passing through the points 0, 0, and 3, 4. So basically, it's the equation to this line. I hope that video was helpful. Until next time, peace. <laughs>